Fox News starts off the debate with a panel from Fox News. They talk about why Trump isn't there, but they don't say the real reason, which is that he's so far in the polls that Trump doesn't even need to be at the debate. Moving right from that, as soon as they started the debate, they played a quote from Ronald Reagan because they were at the Reagan Library, so it kind of makes sense. They welcomed everyone to the debate and then welcomed them again in Spanish, which just made me mad. We need an official language in the United States, and that is English. Just like how Mexico has an official language, and that's Spanish, or Spain has an official language, and that's Spanish. It's not just for every other country in the world to have an official language, but the United States can't. That's preposterous. They then start asking questions with Tim Scott. They ask him, what are you going to do to fix the problem at the southern border? And he says that Joe Biden should be at the southern border instead of the strike, which is an okay answer. But instead of the moderators asking the same exact question to the rest of the candidates, they change the question and then ask Vivek why people are striking. He says that people are striking because they can't afford anything in this economy and they should instead strike at the White House and make sure that the White House focuses on the economy instead of some strike. While Vivek says this, Tim Scott turns to him and gives him a dirty look. They then turn to Mike Pence and ask him the same exact question, and he says that the White House should focus on America and not China. They then ask Nikki Haley, and then she says that people are striking because of the state of the economy, and then goes on to say that we need to make sure that we lower taxes for everyone and put more money in the pockets of workers so they don't feel like they have to go on strike to survive. They then ask the incredible Doug Burgum what he thinks, and he says that the reason why they are striking is because of the fact that we are subsidizing electric cars over gas-powered cars, so we need to invest in America instead of China. They ask Chris Christie, and he says that the reason people are striking is because of the, our debt in the state of the economy and the inflation. He then says that we need to change that. He goes on to say that Trump is trying to hide by not coming to the debate and that he is to blame for the inflation. They then ask the same exact question to Ron DeSantis, who says that people who are responsible for the inflation should be held accountable, and that includes Trump. He says that Trump needed to come to the debate, but... He didn't. He goes on to say that if a bill came to his desk that would be expensive, he would veto it. And to show that he means it, he vetoed lots of bills with high costs when he was governor. And he is not afraid to do it again. Then Tim Scott says that we need to fix the fact that parents need to pay so much money for babysitting or daycare. He then says that the average increase of 17% for daycare costs is putting Americans in a worse place. And he says that we need to make sure that the child tax credit incentivizes childbirth because we have a real problem here. After that, we need to make sure that we have more kids. It's detrimental. But after the first 30 minutes of the debate, they all started screaming at each other. And after they were done screaming at each other, Vivek starts changing the way that he looks at the other candidate. Last debate, he said that all of them were bought and sold, but this time he says that they were all good people. They all debate again, and you can't even hear anything going on for the next two minutes. Mike Pence takes a dig at Ron DeSantis and says that he raised the spending by 30% in his state, but before DeSantis even had time to respond, they cut to commercial. It got annoying with the commercials. As soon as they would start debating, they would just get somewhere in the debate. Okay, I don't even know where the heck they were going, but they got somewhere in the debate, and then they would just cut to commercial. After which, they just let them debate for five minutes and then cut to another commercial. They came back for the last three minutes, because so many commercials filled the whole entire debate, and they only asked two people questions to end off the debate, Nikki Haley and Mike Pence. They then ended the debate, so if I was to rate it, I would rate it zero stars. They need to get rid of so many commercials for just two hours, or not have so many commercials because it just got annoying. As soon as anything was said, they just cut to a commercial. Now, all of them could talk, and by the third debate, I hope that they figure all this out. They need to, one, Mute the microphones of the people that are not speaking because it just gets annoying for people to talk over other people while they're talking. Number two, they need to get Doug Burgum off the stage. They need to start having the stage filled with only people that actually matter in this election. So you need to have at least a 10% or I would say at least a 5% to even be on the debate at this point in time because if you're not going to have at least 5% then there's no chance of winning. Okay, next debate, they just need to let Nikki Healy, Vivek Wamaswamy, Ron DeSantis on the debate. Okay. 
that's the only three that deserve to be on the, the debate stage okay and then they need to let trump on the debate okay those are the only four people that should be even be on the debate other than that they're just wasting time here but with that being said that's my full opinion on the debate but if you did like this video and you do want to see more deep dives into stuff that actually goes on please like and subscribe because i do post new episodes of my show every single monday wednesday and friday thank you all for watching and i hope they have a great rest of your day bye